the company with the skull bottles, the crazy waxed, the wild carrier blends, the infinity amount of options you can buy from them. That is right, Nicholas Beardworks is back again on this channel. We have some new scents for you guys, we have some new products for you guys. We'll break it all down with my beautiful wife Sam C. We'll have an outside appearance from our daughter Violet, and we'll give you all the info you guys need. And as always, the comment section is open and available for questions, for your experiences, your thoughts. Leave it down below so you can help everybody out. I believe this is the third time that this company has been on this channel. So I'm gonna give you guys some updates here, break down the feel and all that stuff, bring Sam in for the sense, and then wrap it up with some final thoughts. And to begin his price, I can't even really give them a rating because they are all over the map. They have some of the most expensive products in the game, they have some reasonable price, they have everything in between, but I will say with full confidence, you get what you pay for with this company. If they are charging more, it's because it costs more. It's something exotic. It's something out there. And hopefully you will see that. They want you to know if they have more expensive items. Those are not things that they're hoping people are going to line up at the door for. They're not trying to have the greatest sales ever. They just want it out there for those guys that really want to seek that top notch, that exotic, that something different. If it's for you, hey, check it out. If not, absolutely no worries here at all. No affiliate here. I don't get any commission on sales. So I'm just bringing you guys the honest information. And if you want to look it up, it's completely up to you. So this company has, like I said, a wide range of options. First is their, their traditional beard oil. Now this is a great beard oil with some absolutely awesome carrier blend uh, ingredients here. Jojoba, argan, shea buckthorn. I love shea buckthorn. Uh, rose hip, pumpkin seed, wheat germ, avocado, fractionated coconut oil, apricot kernel, uh, almond oil, castor oil, essential oils, and then uh, tocopherol, which is vitamin E. That's in their, their base oils. Really, really good. This would be on the medium viscosity for oil. It's not the thinnest, but it's also not super thick. You saw castor oil towards the bottom of that list. My beard loves their oils, any of their oils, even their lowest priced oils. My beard absolutely loves them. You'll hear about the scents in a minute there. And their traditional balm is kind of more on the yellow side of the color, and it's a medium firm balm. It's got some, some body to it when you first dig into their balms here. Uh, but once you kind of break it down and start working with it, it becomes a lot softer and easier to work with. Uh, but their traditional balm has that medium. Now I say traditional because there are other options. The biggest of which is gonna be their prestige line. I'll talk about that in one second. So you have their, their base oils here. The next step up would be their Hairy Vagabond uh, series. That would be noted by the really cool skulls that they have, and it does have a slightly different carrier blend. Nothing too wild, nothing too crazy and exotic. Check that one out there. Um, and you get the cool bottles, a little bit different blend. My beard loves that as well. And then the new one. This would be their prestige line, okay? This would be their prestige line. Now this is something that he's, he's really got out that's new, and it is expensive. I believe for a two ounce oil and a two ounce balm, it is $80 uh, for the combo. So we're talking, what, $20 uh, per ounce there? Definitely expensive, that's, that's no joke. But let me hit you with some of these ingredients, and then I'll also talk about the balm here. So they have some exotic ones that I know and love right away with baobab oil, marula oil, and rosehip oil. All great, all more on that kind of rare exotic side. And then they had a bunch that I did not really have a lot of uh, experience with, but are certainly things that I would love to color, cover on a Carry Oils 101 series, including wild Tashama seed oil. And some of these I may even be saying wrong, so forgive me. Um, olive squalene, behan, uh, barberry fig, and mara kaju. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't really know those ones, to be honest there. I never have a problem admitting when something is new to me or something that I don't know, but I will for sure be looking into those more deep in the future. All I know is my beard downright loves it. This prestige line is something special. It, it is on the thicker side of the oils, but it's not like a castor oil thick. It's like a coating, protecting, soothing thickness on your beard. And then it is the absolute opposite for the prestige balm. Okay, 
Their balm is much lighter, much thinner than his traditional balm. Uh, see, it's got that lighter color there, and it is really, really soft. It's almost like a butter with how it works in your beard, but it still gives you a little bit of hold there. Really unique, really, really wonderful, and you can tell with those ingredients, there's nothing out there like this at all. It's really awesome. And then speaking of butter, he had something that, of course, caught my attention with some videos that I had, and that is his hydrating beard butter, right? And I've told you guys, beard oil does not hydrate. Beard butter does not hydrate. Well, he's developed a product that is different, that he believes hydrates, and I would argue it's created its own category. That I would say this is not a beard butter, that it is something new, that there should be a new name given to this because of the ingredients. Two ingredients that strike me are three. Three ingredients that strike me, one is the lack thereof, is there's no wax in this. The I believe that, there's no wax in this. But the two that really stand out to me is water. There's actual water in this beard butter. It's a liquid beard butter. And there is a natural preservative, right? So my first question is, is when it says that it hydrates, there has to be water, check. My second question is, if there's water, we need a preservative, check. Now for me, this is a really good, easy to use nighttime butter. Super easy, right? One of the problems with a beard butter is you get it out, you gotta melt it down in your hand. Sometimes you gotta work through some grit and some body in there. This is so simple. Give it a couple little squirts into the hand, put it in your beard, and it's gonna feel really, really nice. Now, is this something that I think has completely revolutionized the beard world because it has water in it and stuff? No, but does my beard like it? Yes, 100%. So when he says hydrating beard butter, I again would say that it's not actually a butter, that there's a new category and we should come up with a name for this product that has a place in the market, it just has to be something new and different. And then as you guys, uh, in a second, I'll be covering this with Sam, but he also has a, and I, I always say this one wrong, I don't know why, but hyal <laughs> hyaluric acid, which is going to be used to recover your beard and your skin. It's traditionally known for the skin, but it's gonna do some work on the beard as well. Sam will do a better job talking about it than I will, but essentially it is going to recover the skin, it's going to boost the skin, it's gonna do some really cool things. So he has that available. Again, the first ingredient on this is water, but he also has a natural preservative that goes into this. So some really unique, really outside of the box products here with a prestige line, with a hydrating beard butter, but also with his traditional line, tons of options. And guys, this is scaled back. When I first started working with this company, I said, man, you have too many options. People can't pick, you gotta really hone it in. And he has, there's just still a lot of options there. So if this seems interesting to you, do your due diligence, look into it, ask him questions. Uh, Nicholas Beardworks is very active on Instagram. He'd be more than happy to go over this stuff with you and help you. But if you're into that stuff, this is the company you can dive into to find something different, okay? Now, let's hear what Sam and myself have to say about the scents, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. Okay, guys, we are back. Our weekly routine for another review that I've been testing out for a while. This is a company we've been on a couple times with Nicholas Beardworks, yep. and we have Sam C. Hi. The Super Sniffer. <laughs> I and thought you forgot about me. No, I was getting Jeez. there. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. And we got Violet over here. So if you guys hear anything, again, this is our new normal, and <laughs> uh, sometimes she naps, sometimes she doesn't, and we kind of work it around our schedule. So if she's here, if you hear some squeaks, but I think she's in a good mood now, so yeah. <clears throat> that's a good thing. So we have Nicholas Beardworks first off. We, again, we've covered them, but what's your thoughts on their presentation with the different bottles and the wax? So it's funny because you have a couple of these sitting on your beard shelf upstairs in I our do. bathroom. I do, from previous reviews. Yeah, and they always, my eye instantly goes to these ones yeah. because they're so different. Yeah. The wax and the colors and the bottles. Yeah, it's super unique, yeah. super cool, the, yeah. and, and even the colors, yeah, the different colors of the waxes. Mm -hmm. So we've got a bunch of scents we're gonna review for you today. I have pretty much tried every scent from this company at least once. Some of them I've had multiple bottles of. So if you guys have any questions about ones that we don't cover today, 
please leave a comment down below and I'll be able to help you out and uh, give you my experience and then other people will too. All right, so for these ones, we're gonna, they are the like pump tops here mm -hmm. and they're protected so the oil uh, doesn't wear it away. Uh, but we're just gonna have you kind of twist it apart and then smell okay. from there, all right? So the first one is, oh, where did it go here? Summer 2020 and I got my little, my little cheat sheets here. So we'll see what you, you think on mm. the summer 2020 beard oil. So this reminds me of like an old man cologne. Okay. So they say that it is fresh and elegant. It is citruses. Okay. Citruses, <laughs> cypress, aromatic herbs, and wood resins. Yeah. And I think that literally is like the epitome <clears throat> of an old yeah. man smell. I like old man smells. I don't think they're bad. Yeah. I think it's on the sweet side. Do you yeah. get sweetness out of mm -hmm. that? Yep. Really nice, yeah. really light, you can really smell, enjoyable. What is it, resin? Yep. You can smell yeah. the resin. Almost everything in there. You yeah. can get the citrus. Yeah. You almost get that aromatic feel that mm -hmm. they have in there. Yeah, really nice, really, really unique. Summer 2020. I wouldn't mind my summer smelling like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. This is the dark side. Now, okay. this is known as one of his most complex blends. And this one does smell different in beard throughout the day than just in bottle. So I will preface it with this one. I had to wear this one a bunch of times to be able to kind of understand what was going on there. <laughs> uh, but give your thoughts in bottle and then I'll be able to give my thoughts for in beard here. And let me tell you what they say. It is a very sensual, warm, dry, sweet, spicy, leathery. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of that. <laughs> I get all of those. I don't get leather. Yep. Um, it is, it's spicy and it's warm. Yes. But it's not Christmassy, holiday spicy. Yeah, this one is one of those really tough ones. I don't care who it is out there. Any reviewer that does this is going to say, man, this is complex. It's hard mm -hmm. to describe. It develops throughout the day. Bless you. Bless you. Bless Bless you. You. <laughs> you get some <laughs> darkness in it. You get some manliness in it. There's even mm -hmm. random like patches of sweetness. Just a really rich, how would you describe it as a cologne, right? What kind of cologne would that be? That would be... I don't know. Yeah, it's... It'd be like a... Like it's a, a really like tough a one. Like an older gentleman, not like an old man. Like, yeah. Like a sophisticated man smell when he's going out to like a classy bar. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking like a cigar lounge, yeah. but like a nice, nice cigar lounge. Yeah. Like to be social. So yeah. All right, this next one is the Prestige line. I'll go over that in my feel and beard and everything. And this is London. So I don't have a scent description for London, so you are just going to get uh, what we have and what uh, what Miss Violet thinks over there. Hi, Violet. She's happy, so she that's is. good. <laughs> the squeaks you hear are those happy baby. I like oh. this. <laughs> yeah. It, so let me, yeah, tell me what you think there. How would you describe it? Sweet. Yep. So for me, let me make sure this is the one I'm thinking of. And this is another Almost one. floral? So I get floral, but I also get, and this is going to sound in a bad way because I don't traditionally like these types of scents, but I do here. Do you get kind of a like alcohol smell to it? Like a drink, like a, a kind of drink? Like yeah, I know, drink? yeah, I know you the know what smell I mean? that you're talking about. Yeah. Like it, a fruity sort of yeah. drink. It's lighter. I almost get some like linen in it, like laundry. Yeah. Do you ew. get laundry and linen in there? Yes. There's, that's, <laughs> the thing, guys, with this company is especially, the, he has simpler scents. He has eucalyptus and, and peach, right? He has simple ones like that. But these ones, it's like, oh, yeah. And then you smell yeah. some out, it's like, oh, yeah. So I get a sweet linen It's sweet drink. and it's fresh. Yeah. Like the alcohol sort of drink, it's not like a alcohol like a smell. Yeah, yeah. It's not that. It's more like a fruity, sweet yeah. sort of smell. Yeah. So London, really, really unique there. Uh I don't never been to London, so I don't know what it smells like. But again, if that's what your big city smells like, you're doing Dang. okay. So yeah, you like that also, one? Also, yeah, and I love the blue. Yes. Then the blue and gold. Yes. It just looks so yes. good. It's prestigious. It is. It's the <laughs> prestige line, and uh, yeah, it's it's a high quality product, high quality price, but you you get what you pay for, mm -hmm. right? And almost always. All right, next one we have here. What do you got for for pronouncing this one? 
Legatus. Legatus. Okay, Legatus. What do you got here? This one, it, all right, I'm going to give you the explanation as you smell here. Fruity and smoky. Mm. Pineapple accompanied by bergamot, fresh tart apple, smoky birch, oak moss, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my favorite yes. right here. This is, this is my number one from them. Uh, dare I say ever, and I've tried probably 50 of his products. It's so... Mm. I have to tell you guys. Pineapple. I hated pineapple for the longest time. Dan was obsessed with pineapple. Love pineapple. Loves it. The boys like pineapple, I think. Mm. When I was pregnant, <clears throat> I started drinking pineapple juice like it was going like a out of style. It was crazy. Like three cans of it a day. She started it as like an excuse, like, oh, this is good for this, this, this. And yeah. then by the end, she's like, all right, I'll admit it. I I'm just, just addicted. I just love it so much. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. This is what I have in beard today. It's yeah. wonderful. It's amazing. In beard, it just opens up even more of the pineapple and the freshness. I don't get a ton of the smokiness that they talk about in there. No. I get some complexity to it, but oh, and it's not like you think pineapple, you think bitterly sweet, like just mm -hmm. like, whoa, in your face. It's calm. It's <laughs> soothing. Go one more time on this one. It is. It's like, oh, it's so good. There's something that I've smelled that has that. It almost has like a coconut to it. Too. Yeah, something is calming it's it not, and cutting the edge. Yeah, it's not like the suntan sort of smell, but there is, seems like a little bit of coconut in there. Too. Yeah, it is wonderful, wonderful. All right, next one is Neroli it Italiano. I'm so bad at yeah. impersonations. Impersonation. Yeah. Are you impersonating? In Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you can call it an accent, but I oh, like it. I like impersonations. This is bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon lavender, myrtle. Myrtle's back. <laughs> Grandma Myrtle. Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle's on vacation, I thought, down in the beaches of Florida. <laughs> Rosemary, bitter orange, middle notes are African orange flower, jasmine, neroli. Base notes are amber and angelic. There's a lot of women in this one. Yeah. Have we smelled this before? I think so, but I it liked sounds, it so much I brought it, it back. It smells familiar. Yeah. So we, we actually received a lot more oils than this, but they're ones we've already covered. And I believe we've done this one before, but I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot for this review. It reminds me mm. of... Um, sweet tart. Yeah, it's it, it's very, very, very sweet. And I'm almost positive that's what you said last time. I really <laughs> like it. It's if you know me, you know that's my style. Yeah. So I had to put that one in here for any new viewers to be like, yep, that's one of my favorites there. Awesome. Next one is spice and wood. Spice and wood. Oh. Now on the surface, we don't usually like spice scents, and we don't always like wood scents there. But let me read what they say here. This is bergamot, lemon, apples, angelica root, rose, clove, peppers, patchouli, and white birch, finishing with cedar, iris, oak moss, and musk. Ooh. Yeah, this dude dives in deep. It tickles my nose. Yeah. And I know why, because birch. Oh, yeah, she's allergic. <laughs> so it's like her body, like, no, mm. don't do this. I actually don't hate this. I like it, too. I thought I was not going to like it. Same, same. When it's, I saw Spice and Wood, I was like, Oh, no, no, no. This yeah. is not going to work. It's, it's not bad. It's not like your typical spice. No. It's like... Obviously, we yeah, I read all those things. Yeah. And I get... I would say spice, wood, and sweet. I get that. The bergamot, the lemon, the yeah. apples. It yeah. It goes it's, together. It's not bad at <laughs> all. And I, I was like, oh, I'm not... No way. Sorry, man. You, <laughs> spice and wood, have you watched my yeah. channel? I like it. Yeah. I actually like it. It's not bad at all. All right, next one, I believe we've covered this one as well, but I wanted to bring it back just for you guys. And this is decadence. Decadence. And he uses good words. They, they fit, yeah. right? It fits what, what he's doing there. All right, let me see. Do I got decadence? I don't know if I have decadence on here. That's okay. Mm. What you got for decadence? It almost smells like a caramel apple to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't, this one I have a tough Sweet, time describing. Caramely, rich, buttery, sort of. But I also get airy, almost like a fresh air day, like after rain. So think that, right? It just rained, you're going outside. Think about like nature. No, all I can smell is oh, caramel apple. See, I get, I get the sweetness, I get that, that savoriness, yeah. but I also just get a, a fresh, warm, just nature, and it's a lighter scent. I think this is the lightest one that, that we have smelled. Yeah. Um, and I wanted that one in there because it was a nice for me, like daily scent. I could wear decadence on like a daily basis. So killed it, crushed it. These are so different. Yes, 
everything he does is yeah. different from the bottles, from the carrier blend, from the products he comes out with. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to talk about one of the products here. Uh, Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic <laughs> acid, and this is for skin and beard, but your perspective on hyaluronic acid, real quick, expert point of view, what you got? It takes away your wrinkles. Yeah, and and it's it's got like what, skin rejuvenating features yeah, to it? Yeah, it plumps. Yeah. It all, I think what hyaluronic acid does is it holds water in. Yeah. So it just plumps your skin up. Boom, check that one off the list. I don't have to cover that on the <laughs> on the, the feel and beard. So yeah, uh, any any ones that strike your well, obviously I think we yes, both agree on uh, one. yeah pineapple leg mm -hmm. legatus and any of the other ones that really stood out to you. I know we kind of liked all of them. Yeah, there wasn't a bad there one. There wasn't in the bunch. one that I like really disliked. I yeah. liked that prestige one. Yeah, that's the London. Yeah. Oh, so London, yep. Prestige London. is their line, and they get and they. I actually have London in two different lines. So if you notice the red on the bottom and the gold on the Ooh. bottom, Prestige is their top notch for oil and balm. I believe it's eighty dollars. So you're wow. holding, yeah, some money here. And then this is their Harry Vagabond line that's a, a little bit less with different carriers and stuff, but same scent. So, yep, I got a couple couple of those things there. So you like London, uh, really all of them. Yeah. They're all really, really good. I like that summer of 2020 a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, there's there's a lot here. If you guys have tried any of these, let us know what I like hearing. I just did a review and I wanted people's descriptions, and they're all over the place. And you're like, oh yeah, I could see with that being in there. Some yeah. dude was like, uh, is it weird that I get uh, that I get banana? And the owner was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, well, oh, sorry. So if you've tried any of these, let us know what you guys get out of those ones because man, they are original, yeah. unique, complex, and dare I say, beautiful. So awesome, Violet, you are amazing. Thank you. She's, so uh, she's smiling at us right now. So, all right. Well, beautiful. Thank you very much. You're and welcome. the day of filming, this is our anniversary. So happy six anniversary. Six years, not Six seven. years. We've been together for 10, so we, we hit that double dig. <laughs> but uh, six years, yeah, always like just a year over Maddox, yep. his age. So mm -hmm. we're good. No pregnancy, marriage, or anything like that here, okay? Yeah. We were good. We were on the clear. <laughs> we just didn't wait too long. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, beautiful. Thank happy you anniversary. Thank you. Final thoughts. I know that's a lot. A ton of sense, some new products, some new ideas. Leave a question down in the comments below. I'm going to do my best to answer it. I think I've tried just about everything from this company and I have a feeling the owner is going to be very active in the comment section answering for you guys. And I want to know what you're wondering when you walk away from this video. Are there wonderings? Are there thoughts? Leave it down below, uncensored, all the thoughts. It is an open market for you guys to leave whatever you would like. So thank you guys, as always, for watching this. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope you guys, first and foremost, stay healthy and stay sane, right? Keep that mental strength up, but also keep that health and that physical strength up. But stay bearded and stay positive.